Hey best pally, I'm Allie. Hello, I'm Lumen. Oh dear. Lumen sent me this device and I'm super stoked on it because supposedly you breathe into it and then it tells you if you're burning carbs or fat and you can keep track of that. And then over time it can tell you your level of metabolic flexibility. I think having that ability is epic, hence the echo. I'll explain more on what it is later, but first let's just get this going. Ooh, I'm already liking this. It's magnetic. Get that glow. Ooh, it sounds like the future. It feels like the future. So you can know all of my things. Turn all categories on. Again, this is feeling like the future, but in a surveillance way, because it now knows my weight down to the 10th decimal place. Share info about you. Oh, it wants to know my activity level. I don't exercise on a regular basis, all the way up to I'm training for an Ironman. Exercise every day, that's me. Sleep schedule, I just have to pick one. I can't say this one unless I'm late on a YouTube video, then this one. I was trying to measure the air you can inhale into your lungs. Ooh, good thing I did that mask thing. And I was trying to say before I was slightly interrupted by this talking phone, I wore this for 24 hours, so clearly I'm gonna be great at this. Now it's time to do my actual first measurement. With weights. Oh, that's a different video. Okay! Interesting. So it's measuring the amount of CO2 that I'm expelling, and that's how they're gonna tell if I'm burning fat or carb. Which, there's a crazy way to do this in a lab where you're wearing this like big dome helmet thing, but now you can do it sitting on your couch. Here we go. And the results are you're burning mostly fat. Dope, also, that's kind of what I expected. And so now I'm gonna use this for four weeks and it's gonna get an idea of what my body's doing. And then I assume it'll say to me, holy crap, Allie, you're superhuman. Let's just compare their burning mostly fat measurement to my ketones. Mm, ow. Certainly sacrificing my blood to a device is not as cool as breathing into it. What do we got? Point three. So I'm not in ketosis, even though that lumen was like, hey, you're burning fat. It'll be interesting to compare these two. And also, if you haven't seen the video where I use this to compete in my own metabolic Olympics, you should check that out. Today was my first morning breath, which now makes me feel bad this little guy has to smell my morning breath. Anyway, look, I got a two score, which is my goal of one or two, which I didn't know was my goal, but there we go. It also asked me a bunch of questions about my activity yesterday and how many servings of carbs I had, which I didn't know how much a serving was. I knew how many grams I had. And apparently 15 grams is one serving, so I had 13 servings of carbs. I swear I'm not lying, little guy, but still managed to be at a two. Get nutrition plan, huh. So today it's saying I should have 105 grams of carbs, which I planned on having 280. I might just stick to my own nutrition plan and see what happens, get a baseline first before I let this guy change what I'm doing. Protein 103, oh heck no. I'm doing 125. Not that I'm not open to experimenting and adjustments, it's just that I have what I'm doing figured out and I wanna know a baseline first. But in general, I think it's really cool that they're giving me my macros based on anything. Up until now, I was making up my own macros based on, I don't know, a wide range of information that I've gotten out there and then adjusting based on how I felt how I performed, what I look like. But that's taken a lot of time and effort and like guessing. But this plan is based on data and that's super cool. So I do see myself making adjustments in the future and actually trusting this thing. <laughs> time for my second morning breath measurement. I did take a 30 minute walk before this, although it's still a fasted breath. I'm just not sure if they want me right in the morning when I wake up, or if this will still be okay. I hope this doesn't mess with my data. Some of the data they're collecting right now is what I did yesterday. <laughs> Interesting. They're asking me about my overnight fast. My only option is to go till 6 p.m., but I'm pretty darn sure that I'm not gonna eat well after that. Clearly my fasting window is too bad for this tech. Technically, I could do this fasted breath at like 9 p.m. tonight when I have dinner and break my fast for the first time, but I feel like that's not what they want. Carbs and fat, interesting. I thought walking before would actually put me further into fat burning, but it didn't, it went in the other direction. And just to compare, I wanna see what's going on with my glucose level compared to what they're saying about fat burning. My fasted glucose level is 79, which is right in the range of good. I don't get it, I keep getting three and four scores like I'm burning carbs, but I thought I was metabolically flexible. Oh right, the echo. Okay, let me explain. Basically, most people are using carbs as their fuel, and that means that when they don't eat often, their body runs out of carbs, and they get tired and moody and brain fogged, and this is the science behind hangry. Also, it's easy to gain weight that way, so you want to burn fat, right? Like the keto diet people. 
they have very little carbs and their body is fueled by fat, but it's actually really hard to get into that fat burning mode. You have to kind of train your body to do it to make that switch. And if you've ever heard of the keto flu, that's like the hard transition. So if you train your body, but then you're in ketosis for too long, you lose the enzymes to digest carbs and that sucks. I like pasta, I don't wanna do that. So no to staying carb burning, but also no to a full keto diet. I focus on instead that switch from carbs to fat without getting hangry and then back again. I want to be that pasta eater that can also easily change gears to fat burning again and then eat a bunch of pasta again and my body stays all fueled and happy and focused and energized and burning fat and fit and superhuman. That is metabolic flexibility and why it deserves an epic echo. This time I waited till 7 p.m. to do my fasted morning breath. Hey, I'm beating this thing up, honestly. I wanna see what it says after I've fasted all day-ish and my blood glucose is at 77, so I have a feeling I should be burning fat. I should check my ketones too. Uh, ow. I'm sitting at 0.3, which means I'm not in ketosis, but that is some ketones in my blood. And I'm hoping this lumen will be a way to check if I'm burning fat without stabbing myself all the time. Breathing is easier than stabbing. Or is it? This is aggressive breathing. You're burning mostly carbs. Huh. Now I'm quite confused. What I really want to do is to get into ketosis for sure and then see what it says. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, I got a reading of 0.08, which is decidedly in ketosis, aka burning fat. Now let's see what Lumen thinks of my 6.30 p.m. fasted morning breath. Oh wait, Lumen's giving me a progress review. How'd I do? Th those are, it seems like a lot of carb burning. I don't know. Okay, back to the test because this is gonna be a great way to find out if I should trust those numbers. Huh, it says you're burning mostly carbs. I don't know if I believe you. Did you see the 0.08 before, sir? Unless that is wrong. I feel like it's not calibrated to my breath correctly and I need to give it a better chance to know what CO2 is normal for me. Okay, I'm gonna try something out this time. Every day you blow, what they ask you how many carbs you had the day before, and I always am honest, it's a ton. But despite that, I still thought that I'd get to fat burning pretty quickly based on what I did in my ketosis video. I'm on the edge of my bench press. Point eight. I am proud of the score that I just got on my burning fat as fuel scoreboard. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, or maybe they're just guessing about my fat burning, so I'm gonna lie this time and say, instead of my usual 13 servings of carbs, I only had two. Okay, it's not just guessing based on my carb intake because it's still telling me I'm burning mostly carbs. Well, I did some digging, and it turns out they call it a morning breath because they intend you to do it in the morning. 30 minutes after you wake up. Putting it off will affect your measurement's accuracy. So it turns out activity throughout the day will lower your CO2 enough to make this thing think that you're burning carbs when you're not. Hey, hey, got a two score by measuring at the right time. Turns out it works when you do it right. So don't make the same mistake I did. I just got another two score and now this little guy is telling me that it's a boost day. Ooh. This is cool because Lumen really is helping people work towards metabolic flexibility. I burn fat long enough that they're like, oh, um, you should probably have some pasta. I had pasta, so my boost was a success. I am now in carb burning. They told me to have 225 grams of carbs, but I actually had 300, oops. <laughs> Holy crap, this is an even bigger success. I got my first one score, and it's on the day after I ate all those carbs. That sounded pretty darn flexible to me. I breathed into my little buddy for four weeks straight now, which means today is my flex score day, a number to quantify my level of metabolic flexibility. And the answer is... 12.2! What does that mean? Okay, the 7 to 14 is medium. Obviously I was hoping for high, but also I screwed up a good chunk at the beginning, so I feel like my score will improve. And also, that's actually the coolest part of tracking. Not just seeing your high score, but then improving it! Lumen gives you this awesome flex trend graph, which is just a dot right now. But I'm psyched to add more dots in the correct direction towards superhuman. So let me know if you want me to check in with a Lumen update down the road. And in general, I think it's cool that there's a company making people think about metabolic flexibility. In the past, I've tried to figure out my own carb to fat burning using a couple of different devices, but uh, this is just one device. 
Although it's not the level of granularity that you'd get from these other ones, but the average person doesn't need that level of granularity. The average person doesn't even think about their fuel source, but I totally think they should. And that's why, again, I think it's awesome that there's a company focused on getting people to care about going from carb burning to fat burning and then back again and guiding you on how to eat and work out and get better at it. Like, look at this screen. Huh? Beyond giving me tailored meal plans based on data from my body, it also gives me science behind what I'm doing and why. That's incredibly cool. So yeah, if my video got you excited about training your metabolism, this is a great place to start. So I'll put a link in the description if you want to breathe into your own little buddy.